Hi, it's Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky back with my pans and plans. Um, I wanted to point out that my husband, Bob, is still the videographer. He's doing a great job. And also, this is a special week because it's Teacher Appreciation Week, which um, has a special place in my heart because I have a degree from the University of Illinois for in elementary education. I taught first grade and second grade at the Nettle Horse School in Chicago. And not only that, but I taught Head Start, and first it was a summer program, and we had to go door to door and recruit our own students. A fabulous program that now is really part of the education system everywhere. Head Start is year round, and it's uh, a great program for preschool kids. Um, my daughter and my stepdaughter are both um, teachers of preschoolers and uh, they're working hard to try and make sure that every day they contact as many of the children from their classes as possible. One thing we found though is there is truly a digital divide and in many of our communities there is not the possibility for our students to go online and actually continue their uh, distance education. Um, and, and so that's one of the things that we've discovered from this pandemic, that there really is this kind divide, these divides in so many ways. But let's thank our teachers that are still trying to work hard while school is not open to keep those connections with our children. Um, I also um, want to tell you it is Nurses Week, and Lord knows this is a week and a time when we have to honor these frontline workers, nurses and nurses assistants, and actually all of those in the healthcare field from the doctors on down who are um, in many ways risking their own lives in order to take care of those of us who are sick. Um, so we, we thank them, but I've also drilled down on the issue of nursing homes. And do you know the United States of America, about 40% on average of the deaths around the country are in nursing homes. But you get to places like Minnesota where over 80% are related to nursing homes. And Illinois, where it's uh, mid 40% um, that are attributable to nursing homes. And I'm talking about workers and the patients. But I'm proud to tell you that on behalf of the S Service Employees International Union Health Division, that they had an important victory this week. This is what happens when workers can organize. You know, we have seen people in those homes that have not had what we call the PPE, the personal protective equipment that is needed. Um, and they um, also are not very well paid on average. Um, we see many of them, most of them are women, almost all of them are women, and most of them are also um, women of color and immigrants that do this work. But um, SEIU threatened to go on strike because they wanted more protection, yes, they wanted more money, but they wanted better working conditions. So what they won, what they won was um, higher base wages, still only brought them to $15 uh, an hour. Um, they were paid less than that. They wanted hazard pay for all the workers for the duration of the um, COVID-19 pandemic. They won additional fully paid sick leave. How important is that? You know, if no fault of their own, they do become sick from the virus. They want to have fully paid um, sick leave for COVID-19 um, uh, illness. And finally, they wanted provisions to ensure that employees are not required to work without the adequate PPE, that protective equipment um, as determined by regula regulatory agencies during this virus pandemic. So it's really, really important um, that they have these things and it's a tremendous victory that they won it. So I just wanted to tell you um, about that 
um, and also tell you that we think maybe even next week we're going to go back to Washington and we're going to pass another bill. We're going to pass a bill that does um, really three things, um, as Nancy Pelosi says, protects lives. So we're talking about a health care piece in there, um, protects livelihoods, more help for people who need it. Um, we're looking for, um, uh, we're also hoping to deal with rents and mortgages to make sure that people are not, uh, are not e evicted. And finally, we want to um, help the life of our democracy. What do we mean? We want to get in the legislation nationwide voting from home. Some call it voting by mail. Voting from home so that nobody is, for, is disabled from voting. That it's going to be easy, that it's going to be safe. Um, and you know, we have um, primary elections that are still coming up. And we saw in Wisconsin where people had to go out and stand in line in order to vote. This is wrong. We think that uh, we may be able to get that in the next package of bills. So have a terrific weekend. I'm glad to be with you and I will see you next week. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook where my handle is at Jan Schakowsky.